Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are a minimalist family who is living big with less. And today's video is part of my bite-sized minimalist challenge. It's just a series of small tasks that you can do in 15 minutes or less to help kickstart your journey towards minimalism or if you're already a minimalist, to just keep that on track to go over and refresh those spaces that might need it. I explain it like it is the outside of the jigsaw puzzle which helps us to frame our lives in a way that is more functional and simple. So today's challenge is the utensil drawer. I actually don't have a junk drawer in my kitchen, so this one can tend to be where stuff ends up. I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna see exactly what I need, give it a really good clean, and hopefully you guys are following along with me, and feel free to share your pictures, to come and join us for encouragement over on our Facebook group, Small Changes TV, and we would love to see you there. Although I am tackling my utensil drawer today, this same method can be used for any drawer in your kitchen. I would highly recommend doing a drawer that is the most functional or the most disorganized that's annoying you the most. That way you're going to see the biggest change. I really like to anytime I'm going through a drawer is just to take absolutely everything out so I can give it a really good clean. It also means that no knickknacks are left behind and I've got a blank slate before I start putting things back in. Just using a utensil tray in this drawer even though it is intended for like forks and knives and spoons I find it works really well I can section things out and every time I open the drawer things don't go crazy and I can keep things together within the drawer Halfway. I've said this before, but I will say it again. Anytime you are reorganizing a space that is in high use, never beat yourself up that it's going to get a little bit messy or it's going to need attention quite regularly. That is just the nature of a space that's in constant use. And it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it, but just that it's being used by so many people, it's gonna need a refresher more often. Okay guys, I'll give you the full after in just a second, but there was not much to go. I already had it fairly pared down, but as always when I go through a space, there's stuff that just doesn't belong there. So in this space, this is clutter. It doesn't belong here. This is not where I would go to look for it. So I'm going to put this back. So these are some spare tape that are going to go into my stationary pencil case some paint brushes which need to go back with our paints things from the girls homework pencil case and some things that belong in my cleaning closet Whoa. for my robot so all i have done is taken everything out given it a really good clean made sure that i've got all the stuff that i'm currently using in here and getting rid of anything that maybe is not serving me anymore for example, this little, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This little unicorn cookie cutter. It is so cute and I know the girls really love it. So I'm actually going to put this in our Play-Doh set because when we made cookies out of it, it's just a tiny bit thin 
for cookies and they didn't turn out very well, but I know that they love it. So I'm going to put that in our Play-Doh set. There was just some trash and everything is going to go back into its home and you will see how beautiful and clean this drawer is now. Baby, I'm stuck. I hope you like this video. I would love to chat with you down in the comments. If you're new here, we would absolutely love you to have you subscribe and join our YouTube family. Here are some other videos we think you might like and I will catch you guys in the next one.